Welcome to Ikenaki. In this video, I'm going to explain to you what pre-save functions limited means and how you can actually diagnose that yourself. So pre-save is um, a system that's found in a lot of Mercedes cars that what it does is it prepares the car. If the car detects or is uh, the sensors on the car sense that an accident is about to happen, before the accident happens, there's a few things that the car actually does to minimize the injury to the passenger. What, so what does it do? So one thing is that the seat belt, for example, it will tighten them. Uh, most cars, the seat belt will just lock, meaning like you can't go forward. But what Mercedes does, not only does it lock that seat belt, it actually tightens it a couple of inches. So, and that happens before you actually crash. Uh, another thing that um, uh, Mercedes does is the headrests. Uh, the headrests on the Mercedes will that will pop out forward two or three inches so that, that your neck doesn't, you don't get whiplash, uh, you don't get hurt. So there's pre-safe, um, there's pre-safe plus that's mainly designed to detect a rear end um, accident. So if it will detect if you're about to be rear-ended on the back, it will actually uh, prepare the car for a crash. Uh, other things that the car can do um, is, for example, raise the windows uh, right before the car is about to crash and, and um, uh, so that minimize objects that can come into inside the car. So this system you won't see it operate most of the time because hopefully you know you know driving recklessly all the time and getting you know activating the system. But sometimes it can be activated. Uh, for example, if you see cars the headrests are popping out a couple uh, of inches, is because that pre-save got activated because the car uh, sensed that it was about to crash. You might not always crash, or maybe you avoided it, but the sensors on the car the acceleration sensor and everything else, the way that you press the brakes and, and the systems that Mercedes has, uh, they think that the car is about to crash. So if you get in that error, it means that this system is not functioning. So it means that, it doesn't mean that your airbags will not deploy. That's kind of the next step. Um, but if your airbag light is on, then the airbags might not deploy, uh, definitely. But it's a, a pretty safe a step before the airbags deploy so it's a, a safety measure that not you don't find in a lot of cars you do find a Mercedes and I'll show you how to actually troubleshoot it here what we have done we have run a full scan on the vehicle and if you look here where there is codes there is codes in the engine and transmission but if you look there's actually no codes in the airbag control unit so if the only thing you're getting is pre uh, pre safe warning light on the instrument cluster you might not have any airbag full codes now if your airbag light is on at the same time then you do want to come into the airbag module and and read the codes from that control unit as well. Now, uh, when you read the codes, you want to make sure that you have the ignition on. Otherwise, you will get no communication. But if you have pre-safe um, warning light on, what you need to do is actually you need to go to a different control unit. So let me see if I can find that. And it's this right here. Uh, you have rev ETR left, uh, left front reversible emergency tensioner re retractor. So this is what actually uh, pulls the seat belts and tightens it uh, if it, the vehicle is uh, sensing that an accident is about to happen. You can see you have two. You have one for the left and one for the right. Our left one doesn't have any issues. The right one does. So you can see three codes. Uh, if you if we you can enter that control unit or you can hit report here and if you go to the bottom you go down here to the bottom I skipped it I went too fast so you can see here reverse uh, reversible emergency uh, emergency tensioner retractor so it's the part where your seat belt goes all the way to the bottom that is what actually uh, it will ignite and tighten that seat belt uh, right before the accident it, the thing you need to do is first you need to check the wires with it's got a, a yellow connector that goes to it do you want to check that if the car if that was activated like if your headrest did um, pop out and that um, a retractor was activated that retractor even needs to be rebuilt there is places that do rebuild them or it needs to be replaced so in this place in this case has been activated you can see the codes are current 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 
um, if the issue was just a simple wire disconnected under the seat that goes to the seat belt retractor so basically it's going to be where your seat belt buckle uh, is that part uh, down underneath there so if uh, it did get activated you will need to take that out and replace it uh, it doesn't generally doesn't require any coating so you can uh, use a, um, a used one as long as it hasn't been activated in the past otherwise you're going to end up with the same fault codes um but that's that's what, how you uh, figure out what that uh, warning light means. Uh, Pre-safe limited, and thank you for showing you can where you can be the mechanic.